Welcome into your PFF prospect profile. Today it's all about UTEP guard Will Hernandez, a guy, Mike, who just really burst under our radar uh, in 2015, had an 87.6 overall grade, which is excellent, and then he comes out in 2016 with the highest grade we've ever given a guard, 95.2, just .1 better than the great Quentin Nelson at Notre Dame, and I know the competition level's not the best at UTEP, but Hernandez, just an outstanding all-around guard prospect. He has some of the most fun tape to watch of any prospect in this draft class because he looked like a man amongst boys there at UTEP. You know, the competition level, not nearly as good as, you know, some of the other top-tier guard prospects, but he's just pancaking guys left and right. He's putting guys on the ground, you know, in pass protection and run blocking. It doesn't matter. He is owning dudes there at UTEP. So that's why he had the highest graded season we've ever given to a guard. He is an impressive, impressive human being along that offensive line. You might think just by looking at him, he's just, just pure power player that all he can play is in a phone booth, but he's a lot better athlete than a lot of people give him credit for. He can move. He can get out and pull and locate guys in space. There's really not a lot he can't do from an athletic standpoint. That's why we have him as one of the top guards on our board. Yeah, so I thought the Senior Bowl really showed that because, you know, you watch his tape, you watch him move people. I'm reading your report straight out of the PFF Draft Guide as part of PFF Edge and Elite. You have some colorful language, the way you describe mm. him, right? Has the anchor of an aircraft carrier. Mm. Good luck bull rushing him, and he allowed only Fair four true. pressures. It is all true, right? Yeah. So he's this big, powerful guy. Only four pressures over the last two seasons. So you've got this big, strong guy, but at the Senior Bowl, when he's facing some better talent, better competition, some quicker pass rushers, I thought his footwork was fantastic. You know, the way he was able to mirror those interior rushes, he did a fantastic job in pass pro, and he was one of the best guys at the Senior Bowl, you know, really showing that he could do it against better competition. Yeah, Isaiah Wynn, we talked about, he had the highest win percentage of anyone there at Senior Bowl. Will Hernandez was second amongst guards there in terms of win percentage in the pass pro one-on-one. So that's good when you look talk about going up against better competition because, you know, as we said, the UTEP competition was not top tier. You go up against the guys at Senior Bowl to be able to, that to translate immediately to that top competition, you think that's going to then translate immediately to the NFL, which is nice to see. The, the biggest issue with him is he just has short arms. Short arms for a guard, it means he's not going to be able to move to tackle. I'm not sure I like him moving to center either. He's probably just a guard at the next level, and those short arms got him into trouble at times when he didn't land that first punch. Hard time recovering after that. So. That's about the only issue I have with them. Checks about almost every other box. So 32-inch arms, according to the draft guide right here. What about scheme fit? Because I think with Hernandez, again, you start with the power, and it mm -hmm. feels like a, a gap system, a power system, where you're either collapsing the front side of the run play or you're pulling on the back side. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Mike Upati, where that was Upati's you know, strengths, mm -hmm. where he was just powerful at the point of attack and he could pull. But is he limited to that scheme? That, I think that's his best scheme. But an inside zone scheme, you know, similar, it's power-based. But what about an outside zone scheme where you have to be a little bit quicker and it's a little bit more of a finesse-type system? You no, know, to me, he reminds me of someone like Brandon Brooks for the Philadelphia Eagles to where he's this big, burly guy who, you know, you just assume can move guys off the line of scrimmage. That's what you want him doing. But Brandon Brooks, you saw him in the Eagles scheme this last year where they get wide a lot. They, you know, use him on pulling to the edge a lot. And he can do that, too, because he's that athletic. I feel the same way about Will Hernandez. He's that athletic to where I don't think he's scheme limited whatsoever. You need a guard that can run block, you want him. That, like that, it doesn't yeah. matter what you run. So I like it. You know, the Brandon Brooks comp might be a little bit cleaner. He's had an excellent mm -hmm. NFL career. We have Hernandez as a top 20 player in this draft. We're talking about three seasons over 87, two seasons over 90 in our system. And, yes, he did it against lesser competition, but every time he played Oklahoma, Arizona, other FBS schools, mm -hmm. he showed up, or Power 5 schools, he showed up and played well. And then, of course, capping it at the Senior Bowl. That's Will Hernandez, UTEP guard, one of the best interior offensive linemen in the draft.